Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, let's get back into it. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally, in the case of this place. <laughs> We've still got to patch up the Milano. Whoa! Indeed, the ice is amplifying our velocity. This is how I die! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! If you forget it's incredibly dangerous, it's actually kind of fun! Indeed! Let us meet our deaths bemused! <laughs> 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 Guys? Well, that takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Foom up there. <laughs> Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Nonsense. We shall so be just victorious crazy and our idea. conquest will fill us with the vigor of Ted. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. <laughs> I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Forgot yeah. about that. Devil plant. How old are you? Old enough. You won't say that old? No, that young. I was grown, remember? I ain't gonna brand myself with how many cycles I've been sucking down air. The rodent is meant Carcathian to be much older than any of it. us. Thank you. And emotionally much younger. I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these. I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. Hmm. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin fine boom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, Fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Satarkian shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that at all, Jax. My blood thickens in anticipation of our great combat. Gross. Of course he means literally. It's Drax. Naturally, Katathian anatomy is built for combat down to the cellular level. So, the Cor Kralax Monolith. Remnants of a planet shaking meteorite impact worshipped by some Katathian sects. What's this? Animal remains? Here. Be ready for anything. Oh. That is technically wow. impossible. That is. This is probably Fin Fang Foom, isn't it? Like this skull is Fin Fang Foom. I should be like some cute little monster that, like, is harmless. Watch it be the llama. A 
Oh, but she's a lot, uh, it's Fin Fang Fu model, a lot. So, uh, where is he? Maybe we spooked him. Impossible. Fu was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. She look cool. An ice space weapon. Or a space dragon, actually. Thin Fang Foo. We had some fool as I originally suggested. No problem, 
think you're the only one that can do fire. again. Everybody else, on him, Make now. Make like a tree! It 
to help this makes you square with Hellbender. You would do well to use her food. The beast grows desperate. Yeah, and pissed. And he's bound to get sloppy. Meet him. All right, we got some massive damage on that one. Oh god, he's doing another one. <laughs> it's all on us. We screwed up. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! Ah! the two of us together. Lord Foom. Uh-oh. The church is here. harvest begins. Oh, no. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. If... I will gather my forces. 
Sweet. All right. That was easy. Let's go. All because we brought her the biggest beast. So Foom's gonna be on our side now. We're gonna fight the church with Foom. Cool. Yes! All out. The noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Maybe you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <laughs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> oh, so is this the last stop? Hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Okay. Do not drop that. What are you doing, Rocket? Come on, you know Lamentis? better than that. What happened on Lamentis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some <laughs> point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. <laughs> Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I want so many answers. Like, seize the means of production, or... It's not just a rash. Or, <laughs> yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. <laughs> what questions? <laughs> what happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. <laughs> How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe, and she believed you? Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Oh, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? what? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know she is your type, Peter. Aw, <laughs> she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsaw. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. <laughs> nice move there, Drax. If I put my weight on my left foot, I have much better control over my right hook. People always underestimate proper footing technique. Well, focusing on the upper body alone is the mark of an amateur. Exactly. Weight distribution is crucial, especially with melee weapons. Morgoth's breath, you are correct. 
What are you guys doing? Spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, Ugh guns. guns. <laughs> I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Oh. Bet those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him. Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. <laughs> Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you I'm getting Nikki out of there, no matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. Yay, go team! Oh, cute. That's for Maklu, right? Better not make toxic spores like those big ones in the forest. Yeah. How was it uh, riding along with Lady Hellbender? She have you try on battle armor? Oh, no. She's very respectful of other women's bodily autonomy. We just talked. She asked about you. She better not have said anything about me reaching my big size. No, no. You only turn into Big Fuzzy in one or two friends realities. What? She <laughs> wanted to know if you'd give her your bomb recipe, though. She said you did a job on her throne room. Only if she pays for it. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. What is it? Your angle of attack was off. You have to go at it from the inside out, especially since Raker's body armor has inward folds. Ah, a tactically sound observation. I noticed it made a big difference when I had to assassinate a congregation of Badoon dignitaries. They were wearing so many layers. <laughs> Still good there. Hey, uh, bug lady, you see anything about this mission we should know about? I don't see much. Or rather, I see too much. <laughs> so many realities converging. Does Lady Hellbender ever stand us up? Only in a few versions. Usually when Star Guy does a bad speech. Oh, um, and also in one version where he grabs her butt. <laughs> Peter. What is this? Oh, yeah, we probably looked at this. <laughs> Baby Groot. Betty was adorable. <laughs> Morris and Hoover, you wish to practice hand to hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't well, it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first, I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. <laughs> really? No other reason than magic? Well, you could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. <laughs> Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. Right. <laughs> <My own God>. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? Uh, what? 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 What'd he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier. <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity. <laughs> 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 Sometimes when other people laugh, it just makes you laugh, you know? Hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. That's an understatement. 
Rocket seemed like the only one who knew what he was doing, and he did it in the most chaotic way possible. What did he do with the detonation charges he found in the ventilation system? If he hasn't used them yet, they'll probably be in a secret stash. So the rodent does have a stash after all. <laughs> of course he has a stash. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? You already got music playing. Right, so you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skullsuit doesn't show up in time. Nice, what is it? You'll see. Hmm. But why am I guessing that you're gonna use special components from my so, uh, bug girl, CD? How my come you can understand Drew player? so well? You've only known him a few cycles. Telenesin is a common language in some realities. The Jatauri don't always blow up Planet X. I am Groot. Yep. There's a dimension where I learned to speak it from a very aggressive compost vendor on Nowhere. <gasps> Groot loves compost. <laughs> Give me a tick. I'll be right there. Hey, right, we're good. All that effort and nothing shiny to show for it. Shame. Hmm. Good thing. Gamora. What is this? Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. <laughs> it's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes, I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. Hmm. Cool. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh, its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no Foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, uh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Yeah. Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. <laughs> Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. 
Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Mach 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Mach 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Why well, is Hero to Zero playing right now? Or Zero to Hero? Still can't talk about the brush. Oh, it's actually playing You're music. Watering, Sir Groot. What are you doing? Yeah, leave him alone. I tinker when I'm stressed, Groot waters, Gamora meditates, etc. When I'm stressed, I concentrate real hard, and sometimes I can see the birth of the universe. First, there's only one reality, and then, bam. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> wow. All right, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. <laughs> nope, I think I'm good. I think I got everything. Check every room, talk to everybody. That's never good. Here goes nothing. Nah, nah, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. fleet looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. Huh. What well, now? That's good to know. Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's Where's coming, right? At? She is a woman of honor, a queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that going to take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, what man? What are you doing? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! No. Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels while the church is out looking for the source. We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? <laughs> Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! <laughs> All right, let's find a place to park. Look at those boys. Our deception is working. 
don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? <laughs> Guess there's no windows anywhere? Why are we whispering anyways? I know they're out there, but they can't hear us through the ship's hole. Oh shit, I didn't realize I was actually steering. And you're still whispering? Because I don't want to be the one to flark it up if they can hear through. I had no idea that I was steering. Just casually float there. What? Oh, it's Fin Fang Poo! Oh, she made it! Yes! Lady Hellbender has arrived! Guardians of the galaxy, and stop can... hiding! The monster lords of Seknoth 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need <laughs> to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we. We'll slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> <laughs> Take advantage of the nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacros. That landing base no way in. There's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Guardians. Even if you die while this ability is available, Kruk will automatically revive you. Oh, nice! So it's basically like having a fairy in a jar. Keeping a fairy in a jar. That's what we're gonna do. Lady Hellbender's entrance was quite the spectacle! Maybe to go over the formation. 
Mission drills again. <laughs>
All right, I guess we're good. We can get in. We don't need any more shit. It seems a good time to shed our guard for the battle ahead. Nope, never a good time for that. I am through. How can we be certain they have not found a way to convert him, Warlock? It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. He almost kicked our bus when he was all sad and mopey. If they found a way to turn him, we'll just have to go into his mind and fix him too. I ain't jumping into that freak's promise. Can you imagine? <laughs> Mirrors as far as the eye can see. Jars full of combs and cheap hair products. You use hair products. I said cheap. A <laughs> wealth of luxurious oils and sweetly perfumed lotions. Just no spinning! Why is she spinning? <laughs> Don't worry about my flying! Just worry about your shooting! I'll meet you people soon! Already here, Mantis! Oh! Say hi for me! Celestial Madonna sends her greetings. This is how it's done! <laughs> Imagine the havoc Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside! Who's probably crushed half the Armada by now? These people fight without fear. They have fully embraced the promise. And there's millions more where they came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Let us hey, We can get through here. Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Okay, let's see here. Mantis, you still alive? No. When? Uh, now. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay. Sorry, left such a mess last time we were here. Okay. <laughs> Laura, slice him up! Time's up! You're up there, ah! At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano. I believe the insect witch will prove quite capable as a pilot.
No warning lights. It's fine. It's just fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I smell it too. Some kind of culty fuck. The tree has no nose. Yeah, he does. It just ain't where you'd expect it. <laughs> Disturbing. <laughs> Groot is just like, how's it going? I'm winning! There's something up here. This wind shall not break our determination. It sure is trying. Defy it, furry one. No, come on, uh, bitch. Okay. So I think we need to get over there. Maybe. For some reason, there. This is here for something. This exists for some reason. For some reason. Why does this exist? anything up here. There's got to be like some something that's up there that I'm just missing, but I don't know what it is. Nope, nope, that didn't make it. That was not the answer. Let's make progress. Forward progress. <sighs> oh shit. What the hell? Lady Hellbender. Okay. Go get him, guys. Scott. Great. Now what? Where is he? Ah, got him. Golden Boy's this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. I got a theory. 
Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. See, nothing to it. Cool. Yep. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been the loving Miss Scarlet Fox. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video.